Good afternoon, everyone. This is a beautiful passage, once again from the book Conscious Union with God by Joel Goldsmith. It is about the teacher and student dynamic and what it can bring forth. Goldsmith says, it takes the consciousness of an inspired individual, one aflame with love for God, to impart spiritual truth. Spiritual teaching not only requires a consecrated teacher, but also, as students, people who are willing to sacrifice time, money or pleasure in the pursuit of truth people who are eager to sit at the feet of the master. And what is the master? The master is not a man. The master is this divine message, this truth. That is the master. And to sit at its feet means really to cleanse your consciousness of all self-will, selfish desire, really to lay all your all on the altar of this truth in real surrender and say, everything I have of a material nature, all of it added together, is not worth even one drop of spiritual truth. In such a purified state of consciousness, you would be able to receive and assimilate and respond to the truth of being. Friends, this is so well expressed that the master is not a man but the teaching, the message, the divine message. And when we live with this teaching, you see, throughout the day, see the events which have happened and transpired in light of the teaching. Perhaps see what would I have thought before being exposed to the teaching. Now what do I feel in light of the teaching? That shows how close the teaching and the master is to us because it is on our mind and in our hearts all the time. And so one really starts living from this dimension and then as Goldsmith says that, you know, things of a material nature, they lose their value in a sense. Of course, one will still enjoy material comforts and objects. But when the focal point is now no longer the mundane and the material, but has shifted to this inner dimension of peace of mind, equanimity, calm, tranquility, then the game changes. And as he ends on this note, you would be able to receive and assimilate and respond to the truth of being. That is what it comes down to, being. The truth of simply being, as simple as that. Being without me and my concepts and my opinions and views and judgments and me and my story and so on and so forth. Just pure and simply being. Thank you.